We're at Castle Gardens this morning here, outside of Riverton, Wyoming. These are supposed to be some really great petroglyphs out here, so we're going to go out and explore. This really, really pretty area. Unfortunately, I had already read about this before. There are um, a lot of marks from people leaving graffiti on these stones. And this is the shield, you said? This is some of the shields. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, see, we've never seen anything like this. And I think this is supposed to be pretty unique to this area, right? Yes. Wow. It looks like a, a person with the... I think they said that that was like the headdress of a person. Yes. Yeah. Here's a really good one of a shield with marks all the way around it. That's really good. These hillsides are um, soft, I think, maybe, I don't know if it's volcanic ash or sandstone, but they're very easily marked. And I think that's why it's been so popular for people to come here and leave their name behind and everything. But unfortunately, they've uh, also disturbed some of the original petroglyphs, pictographs. There's like a bird and a feather and there is like a person with animal tracks on their dress. Those are great. It looks like a fish. And then there's a person up here and there's like hashtag marks and I don't know if that's a trail very interesting. We've been out here exploring for probably like 45 minutes or so. This is just a really great place to be and we could definitely spend a lot more time out here but we walk the whole trail and uh, it's a gravel path. I think it's a great place to come out here especially if you have kiddos. They uh, would have a really fun time out here I'm sure running around and exploring. A lot of these are protected behind fence now but they have these camera holes cut in the fence, which makes it nice. This is probably the best that we've ever seen. All these shields on one panel. So that last rock panel was the best one that we've seen, right? Yeah, it sure is. That, that was amazing with all the shields there. Yep. That was really something to see. Castle Gardens is a really, really neat place to come and visit. It took us about an hour to drive from Riverton out here to Castle Gardens. I've read where the road was really bad in areas, but we didn't find that at all. Um, it is kind of washboardy, but uh, it is very remote. So uh, you have to keep that in mind. We drove at least 30 miles before we saw another car on the road. So it is remote, but that makes it all the more special. If you guys decide to come out this way, I think it's worth it.
we're going to get back on the road. <laughs>